Hello, future Herons. My name is Ms. Broadus, and I'm the principal here at Happy Valley Middle School. My staff and I wanted to welcome you, and we're excited to meet you in person this fall. In this presentation, you will be meeting the two other assistant principals, Mrs. Fortuna and Mr. Mulligan, who will be sharing important information. Again, welcome to the Heron family, and we will see you in September. Mrs. Fortuna? Thanks, Ms. Broadus, and hello, future Herons! While school looks really different right now, the staff at HVMS are so excited for next fall when you'll be sixth graders here. I cannot wait to meet each and every one of you. Mr. Mulligan? Thanks, Mrs. Fortuna. Mr. Mulligan here. I too want to welcome you to HVMS. We have heard great things from all your elementary schools and we know that you will be an amazing addition here at Happy Valley. Today we wanted to share with you the process for selecting the elective courses you may take next year. But before we start to talk about schedules, we would like you to take a look at the short virtual video of your new school. Welcome to Happy Valley Middle School! probably quite a bit bigger than your elementary school, that you'll get to know this amazing place in no time. Our school is filled with great teachers, parents, staff members, and amazing students. Congratulations! Congratulations. You're a parent now! Happy Valley Middle School may be a large building, but we are made up of a smaller team on each grade level. Each grade level has three teams of students that all share the same teachers and have classes together at various times throughout the day. As a sixth grader, you'll have some classes that are required for all students. All middle schools in North Clackamas follow a day one and a day two schedule. Your language arts, math, and science will meet every day, while your social studies and PE will meet every other day. The rest of your schedule will be filled with elective and support classes. Most students will have four elective spots to fill in. Sixth graders will have three options that you can choose from. Your first option is taking two year-long elective courses. Your second option is taking one year-long elective course and two semester elective courses. And the third option that you'll have is to take four semester-long elective courses. Happy Valley Middle School has some really fun and exciting electives for you to choose from. Here are just a few electives you can take. Hey, Bonnie, how are your classes going? Pretty good. Can you believe that it's almost time to start forecasting for our electives next year? I don't know what classes to decide. I think Karen TV probably has a video about that. Ooh, let's check it out. part about the classes, the field trips, and competing. This course is for students who want to play violin, viola, bass, cello, and double bass. Um, we all like get along well and we can all play together as a group. Students will be expected to attend four concerts and practice outside of regular school hours. I think Miss Lorimer is a really good teacher and I feel like I've learned a bit. I love about taking the orchestra is the field trips you go on. You get to go, you get to go to a lot of new places like Bend, Oregon, and plus you get to skip out in school.
Hi there everybody, I'm Mrs. H. I'm the choir teacher here at Happy Valley and there are lots of opportunities to plug into choir in whatever level you're in. We have year-long beginning, year-long intermediate, as well as year-long advanced. There's also a sixth grade general music class that I teach that's more of a music exploration. So if you'd like to sign up for that as a, an incoming fifth grader, I would love to have you. We have a lot of fun in there. Um, choir involves a lot of field trips and performances and festivals we go to. It's a great opportunity to get really close with some friends. It's a great close-knit group of kids as you go through the choir program together. So I hope you'll come check it out. Hi Herons, this is Mr. Winston from the band. Have you ever wanted to play a musical instrument that just didn't know how to do it? Or maybe you already know how to play one. We'd love to have you in the band program. Uh, it's a lot of fun, we meet every other day. We meet all year long, so it's not just a semester elective. Um, flutes, clarinets, saxophones, trumpets, French horns, um, trombones, percussion, baritone, tuba, bassoon, whatever you want to learn how to play, I'll teach you. And uh, we'd just love to have you uh, join up with us and uh, have some fun performing for people, performing for your friends, performing for your family, and just learning how to play music. So hope you can join us. We'd love to have you. Thank you. So every year I teach um, four different classes. I teach a sixth grade art class that all sixth graders can take. Um, and we go through all the basics of art and a little bit of sculpture, painting, and drawing. Um, and then I teach an advanced art project class every year that's repeatable. We do projects like uh, big group projects. We go and visit first graders and paint their portraits. Um, so we do a different number of projects every year. And then I teach two other classes um, that rotate every other year. So next year I'll be teaching a 2D design class where we work more with illustration and the ideas behind design. And I teach a 3D sculpture class, which we work with different materials and build lots of just sculptures out of cardboard. We might work with some clay. Um, in the past we've built lanterns and kites and different things. I also offer on other years ceramics, working with clay, or drawing and painting. Yes, art is really fun and we do different kinds of projects like Play, painting, mosaics with paper, and shading with pencils. Would you take art again? Yes, I would. Would you recommend art to any incoming sixth graders? Uh, yeah. Science in the Kitchen and Food Science are fun elective courses that are available here at HVMS. What is your favorite food that you've made in food science? Definitely the unleavened bread. It's literally the best bread I've ever tasted in my life. What is your favorite thing about food science? Um, now we get to cook and we also get to learn about different foods on, and on how they affect different things. In these classes, students will learn basic cooking skills that they will use later in their life. They will also learn basic recipes to use these cooking skills with. And the best part about this class is you get to eat whatever you cook. Are you looking to be the best student that you can be? If so, the Avid family may be right for you. This year-long elective offers students the opportunity to become the best student that they can be through organizational skills, note-taking skills, uh, giving speeches. My grades used to be really bad, but now Avid has helped me achieve straight A's. Avid has helped me go from a C and B student to an A and B, and I rarely get C's anymore. The Avid family 
uh, does fun, fun activities together, such as family nights, field trips to Oregon State, University of Oregon, and many other universities. We do team building activities together, which forge friendships that last a lifetime. Um, AVID has helped me make better connections with people that I previously didn't know or did know. In the AVID elective, students learn skills that will last them beyond middle school, beyond high school, and into college and career. Um, AVID has helped me with my quiz grades because in tutorials we go over my points of confusion. We get students to start thinking about what career paths they may take and also build the skills that are necessary to get them there. Sign up for AVID! Join the AVID family today. Hola y buenas tardes, it's Senora Collard here and I'm here to tell you, you should take Spanish. Espanol Spanish is offered here at Happy Valley Middle School um, in a couple different levels. Did you know you can take Intro Spanish, Spanish 1, or even Spanish 2? We go from vocabulario ¿Cómo estás tú? Así, así. Bien. to high frequency phrases to full on conversation. It is so much fun. That's right, 6th graders, 7th graders, and 8th graders, you can come spend time in La Clase de Español. Hope to see you there. Fantástico! Excelente! Hi, Herons, it's Mr. Oliver, and I teach five classes in our Media Arts program, the first of which is Media Arts. In Media Arts, we'll focus on computer skills, graphic design, photography, and basic videography. We'll start our year with basic computer skills, learning how to organize our files, and access our Google Drive. We'll continue with graphic design using a program called Photopea to create logos and other designs that we'll use in our videos and future projects. In our photography unit, we'll learn how to use DSLR cameras and learn how to take professional looking photos. In our videography unit, we'll use Final Cut Pro, our video editing software, to make short skits that may even appear on Heron TV. Once you've taken Media Arts, you're eligible to take any of our future classes in the program. After you finish the video and look through the course guide, you can use the link in the message from your elementary school or in the description below to access the online forecasting form. Please be sure to read it carefully and fill it out completely. One important thing to note is that staffing and scheduling will determine course availability. While we really do try to ensure that students get their top choices, some may not be able to receive all of their top choices. Here's what a sample schedule might look like. Notice that language arts, science, and math are every day. The other courses, including electives, are every other day. So what are your next steps? First, you're going to look over the sixth grade course catalog. Second, you're going to use the link to access the digital forecasting form using your school's Google login. 
Next, you're going to give careful thought to the selections because you're making requests for the entire year. Then, both you and your parent or guardian will need to virtually sign the sheet. You're going to submit all of this by Friday, May 15th. If you have any questions, the counselors are here to help you. They divide the students by last name, so find your counselor and send them an email with any questions you may have. Thank you, future Herons and families, for watching our presentation. Please make sure that you look through all the materials and the links that were sent to you so that you can successfully forecast and look at electives for next year. Welcome to HBMS. Have a great year, Herons!